Scientists say that they have created what they consider to be a genius solar tower design that can generate power 24 seven, as in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's feasible to increase energy production, they say, by using this solar tower. What does this mean? Do we even need battery storage anymore? Well, if they're telling the truth, maybe we don't. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. The power emanating from a tower in Saudi Arabia could soon be a substantial force, according to simulations. By appearance, renderings of the twin solar technology look like a Middle Earth wizard's abode, though you won't find any tree chopping orcs in this technology from the Middle East. This tower uses solar heat and the air's temperature to deliver energy all day and all night, according to a report by the environmental news site Anthropocene. It was designed by experts from Qatar University and Jordan's Al Hussein Technical University. So far, the project is based on simulations and weather data, but the results are incredibly promising. The concept utilizes two 656 foot towers, one wrapped around the other. They're made from a material that can capture solar heat, like a greenhouse, warming air at the bottom of the inner tower. The hot air powers a turbine as it rises, and this is how it's able to create energy 24 hours a day. So I was initially skeptical when I heard, when I first saw the headlines, I thought, Ah, yeah, I've seen this, heard this before, and I have heard this before many years ago. In fact, I was told by someone they have solar panels that work at night time, don't need the sun, rah, rah. I thought maybe that's what this was, but it's not that at all. When you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Now, when you install solar panels on a roof, sometimes they don't work efficiently. When it gets too hot, they don't work efficiently. That's one of the reasons you don't install them flat against the roof tiles. They need airflow underneath to keep them cool. When solar panels go above around 31, 32 degrees Celsius, they then start to lose efficiency. Efficiency starts to go down. So that's a problem in places like Saudi Arabia where it's way hotter than that. It's often, in fact, much of the year, it's 40 degrees Celsius. So scientists come up with an idea on you know, how they can use all that excess heat. By having a turbine in the middle that uses that heat, you can create energy 24 hours a day. Obviously, all that solar can be used when it's sunny, and then you can use the turbine at nighttime. This level of technology, though, isn't novel. It's not new. So-called solar updraft towers have been studied for more than 100 years. Researchers in the desert, however, have made a breakthrough by adding a secondary tower utilizing cooler air in a downdraft. The inner updraft tower has a diameter of nearly 33 feet. The outer tower, which encircles it, has a diameter of 45 feet. The space between the towers is divided into 10 channels. The twin technology is leveraged after the hot air rises, turning the main turbine. The air is then sprayed with a fine cooling mist. The chiller air then travels down the 10 channels, turning other turbines, according to a description of the technology. The study showed that combining the downdraft tower technology with the solar updraft technology is feasible to increase energy production. The dual nature of the tower could actually help to make the expensive to build solar devices more feasible to construct, according to experts. A big boon for the concept is that it works when the sun goes down, thanks to the cooling tower, meaning it could potentially generate energy just 24 hours a day, seven days a week, especially in places where it's hot and always sunny, such as where 90% of the world live in the Sun Belt. This mode of independent solar irradiance can operate day and night, said experts to Science Direct. Solar power experts around the world are continuing to find ways to harness sun rays. In some cases, reviving technology first used by ancient mathematicians in places like ancient Egypt. Archimedes focused sunlight using mirrors to combust an invading fleet of Roman ships, according to legend. The basic concept is being used now to create energy. The innovations are helping to transform the way we power our world. 
By producing double the power with twin towers, the Middle Eastern researchers can generate about 2.14 times the electricity of a standard solar updraft system. The simulation which accounts for desert weather data estimates the twin technique would generate around 753 megawatt hours of energy every single year for each tower. For reference, one megawatt is roughly enough electricity for the instantaneous demand of 750 homes at once. The research team says that the technology works best in a desert setting or in a really sunny place as humidity impairs performance. So where it's really humid doesn't work as well. The cooling tower was impacted by seasonal temperature swings among other hurdles. The system has limitations though, this, this issue, right? These are access to water for the operation of the downdraft system. So you do need access to water. And if you need a desert environment and access to water, well, that just creates a little bit of extra work, a little bit of extra investment. The next step is a techno-economic analysis with an eye on scalability. So this actually works, but only in theory. Commercial mass production is what we need to know. How much does it cost to build every one of them? Is it cheaper to simply go and use existing solar panels, solar PV we already have, which is very cheap now, and back that up with energy storage, lithium ion ba batteries, for example. Is that cheaper? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out soon enough. Thanks for watching.